Last hours, voters across Vermont will decide on a wide range of local issues. It is democracy in action. Local 22's Courtney Adelman cut up with some cities and towns to see what their big ticket items will be. She joins us now live tonight in the newsroom. Hi, Courtney. Well, that's right, Lauren. Many towns will vote on budgets, school budgets, and local government officials. However, some towns will vote on big ticket items that have been dividing them for months now. From budgets to multi-million dollar bonds, Vermonters have a lot to think about when it comes to their individual cities and towns. In South Burlington, a $209.6 million school bond has been a big talking point. To rebuild the middle and high school uh, as a single building uh, with an attached physical education and athletics center, which the board believes is the best way of addressing the real needs that we see for improved infrastructure. Some people, including members of a Vote No campaign who launched a website, are concerned about additional costs and impacts, including interest, which will not appear on the ballot. Until we have a positive vote, we can't finalize the structure um, of our uh, financing for the project. In Williston, voters will consider a 1.5% increase on the town's budget. They will also vote on a $900,000 payment on a culvert. Funding for the replacement of a culvert that is on over the Muddy Brook in Williston. Actually, it borders on the towns of Williston and South Burlington. In Colchester, the town budget has a 0% increase, according to Select Board Chair Jeff Bartley. One ballot item includes whether to add more technology and communication devices. It's just setting um, a chunk of money aside to purchase new computers or if the copier, you know, bust or something like that. And it helps us uh, plan for expenses. And a big ticket item for eight different municipalities, including Colchester, concerns new water pumps for the Champlain Water District. Its community is to approve a $3.5 million bond. Our culture South Tanks and they're on uh, exit 16 and uh, they serve six systems in Winooski, Colchester and Essex and we have one line that feeds that tank so if that line ever breaks we don't have a way to get water in and out of that tank so we're putting in a second line. And to find out more about these local issues you can head on over to mychamplainvalley.com. Live in the newsroom Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.